Hi, welcome to the back office. An ELM327 onboard diagnostic to interface. That's right. This plugs into your car and allows you to see what all those error messages mean and even clear some of those. We're trying to get into it, but basically is a dongle and a disc. The disc, throw that away, you won't need that. All you'll need is your mobile phone. And in fact, I'm just gonna take the camera outside and we'll actually plug this into a car. Right, we're in the car. Dongle has been extracted from its bag. You can see it's a kind of a big D shape, so you can't put it in wrong. First thing to do is find the place in your car where you need to install it. And in my car, it's actually under the steering wheel. It generally is. And if it's not under the steering wheel, it might be under your ashtray in the center console. So you just slip that in there and it'll clip home. There's not really much to see now. Once you turn on the ignition, it will go uh, start flashing blue. So then what you need to do is get your mobile phone and download an application from the Android store. God, it's roasting in here. It's actually a bit of sun is now belting through the uh, car. I'm just going to turn the car on now. Just turn the ignition on. Let's click OK. Musical or not, and Oops. yet is... Turn the old radio off. We don't need that right now. So you can see there's a graph there, and it's not doing much. It's just sitting there. And what I'm going to do is hit the configuration option here at the bottom of the screen. Come on. And then find the onboard diagnostic adapter. Sorry about the humidity, but I'm, it's absolutely roasting in this car. But just to show you, all I needed to do was actually just set the uh, Bluetooth. So I found the Bluetooth device, set it to 1234. It uh, just popped up with this default set of gauges. And I'm just turning the car on. And already you can see, oh, merciful air conditioning. Already you can see there's a vacuum in the top right corner, load. Speed is zero because we're parked. And what you can do is add different displays. So if we say we want a dial, and let's see what we can find. There's all sorts of things here, but this car actually has a turbo. So let's see if there's something to do with a turbo on here. Turbo boost and vacuum gauge, there we go. Large. There we go. So something you'll need to do, if you've got warning lights on your car, click the little cog thing and just go to fault codes in the menu. Show logged faults. Now this is where, you know, your engine that actually starts reporting things, you know, issues and your gearbox and things can report issues. So, oh, in the bottom you see there, no faults found. So that's good. But if you do have faults, you can cl click this clear logged faults after you've repaired the item. So let's say you've... Uh, had a you know low water light or something you could fix that then come in here click clear the uh, setting and then you'll have the warning light wherever it happens to be maybe somewhere up here disappear off your screen Although, look I've got to do some water fluid uh, water washer level oh woof, 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 woof. roasting so with that hopefully you can diagnose some of your own faults and clear those pesky warning lights without having to go to a garage and paying like a hundred pounds for them to clear the LED. As ever, thanks for watching.